Beckhardt has been providing the highest quality fencing products to the agricultural community for over 125 years. Our state-of-the-art manufacturing facilities produce a wide variety of fencing products to meet any need. We continue to listen to our customers and develop innovative fencing solutions so that you can build a better, longer-lasting fence. Depending on your application, there are a variety of fencing options available. This video will show the process of selecting and installing your dream fence. Whether your choice is high tensile smooth wire, high tensile barbed wire, high tensile field fence, high tensile fixed knot, or our high strength horse fence, this video will guide you through the installation. Safety. When building any fence, it is imperative that proper safety gear is worn. To prevent injuries, wear protective eyewear, gloves, and boots. Working with a partner will make the job safer and easier. Planning. Take the time to plan out your fencing project before you start. Consider the long-term use of the land and the changes you might want to make in the future. Begin by sketching a map of your proposed project. Next, lay out a use plan marking land assignments for pastures, hay, crop, and other applications. This plan will help you figure out your current and anticipated fencing needs. Posts. Once you have your plan, you will need to make decisions regarding materials. If you are using wood posts, you should use properly treated round wood posts. For the longest life out of your fence, make sure posts are properly seasoned and treated in order to assure that they last as long as the wire. Untreated or poorly treated fence posts will only last five to seven years. The smart way to buy is to look for fence posts that come with a warranty. If you decide to use T-Post, a galvanized finish is preferred over painted. The galvanized coating ensures the T-Post will last as long as the wire. A driven post will always be the strongest installation. If you auger and tamp post, be sure all the soil that comes out of the hole is tamped back in. If concrete is used, alternate layers of dry concrete with layers of tamped soil. Stop concrete at least eight inches below the surface and cover with tamped soil. Using Beckhardt's high tensile wire products allows wider post spacing than with traditional low carbon products. Please refer to Beckhardt's recommendations regarding posting for your selected product. Installation. Now that you have chosen your wire, posts, and completed your plan, actual installation of the fence can begin. How to install a brace. A quality fence installation begins with quality end and corner braces. The brace is the most important part of the fence and requires proper installation. Properly installed braces ensure that your fence will remain tight and look good for many years to come. We recommend using a 6 to 7 inch post for ends and corners. Post depth is also very important when building braces. End post must be set a minimum of three and a half feet in the ground for four foot high fences. Taller fences require deeper post placement. The top rail should be positioned so that it is between the second and third line wires from the top of the woven mesh or between the two top wires on a smooth wire fence. Measure up from the ground on both brace posts and mark this location. We recommend using a four to five inch post for the top rail or a two inch schedule 40 galvanized pipe may be substituted for the top rail. For maximum strength, use a top rail with a length that is two and a half times the fence height. For example, a four foot high fence requires a top rail that is eight to 10 feet in length. Use brace pins to hold the top rail in place. Begin by drilling a hole into the corner or end post approximately two and a half to three inches deep. Next, drill a hole completely through the brace post. Place a 5 inch brace pin into the hole that was previously drilled into the end post. Leave 2 to 3 inches of the pin sticking out of the end post and insert a 10 inch pin into the brace post hole, but be careful not to drive the pin all the way through the post. Position the top rail onto the short pin that is protruding from the end post and raise it so that it is parallel to the ground. Now drive the long pin into the top rail from the brace post, but be sure to leave one inch protruding. 
This will be used to hold the twitch wire in place. To attach the twitch wire, drive a staple halfway into the outside bottom of the end post four to six inches off the ground. Keep the staple parallel to the ground. Using high tensile wire, do two complete wraps around the brace from the bottom of the end post to the top of the second post. The twitch wire can be tightened using an inline strainer or a chain grab and crimping sleeve. Tension the twitch wire. Your brace is now ready to have the wire attached.